Updated results on the day after primary election day in Georgia it shows the crowded field in the race to become Macon Bibb's next mayor narrowing. Zach Merchant is live outside the Macon Bibb Government Center with the latest. Frank, the Macon Bibb County Mayor's Office is just in this building behind me on the left hand side here and the race to decide who will be its next occupant is now coming into sharper focus. There are still, we have to mention, several thousand absentee ballots that have yet to be counted, but the majority of the votes cast in this race have been counted, and unless something drastic changes going into the 11th hour, it appears likely that Lester Miller and Clifford Whitby are headed to a runoff. After a long campaign leading up to Tuesday's election, Miller says he's ready to keep pushing toward that August runoff date. So we've definitely got enough Enough in the tank to go two months, longer if necessary, but we're ready for this thing to be over once and for all so we can move forward as a community. Clifford Whitby's campaign declined an invitation to speak with us on camera today, but in a live interview last night, he said he is just as ready for the next eight weeks of campaigning. We aren't wavering one bit. We will continue to fight for fairness, uh, equity, balance, and fair play for this community. And he said he's encouraged by the support he's already received in the race. When I look at these young people, some of them voted for the first time, getting involved in the process. With these young people and, and people getting involved in the process, we're going to change making bib. We will turn making bib around and there is no turning back now. Miller suggests a runoff campaign could be more contentious than the one leading up to this week's vote. Uh, we both have records to run on. I'm proud of my record at the school system. Uh, it will come under attack. Uh, when you attack me and you attack our teachers and you attack our administration, you attack us all. Uh, so I think there's going to be a bone of contention about, about facts related to the school system. And as of the latest release from the Bibb County Board of Elections that came early this morning, Lester Miller has the edge. He's out in front in first place with about 43% of the votes that have had their results released. Clifford Whitby is in second place with about 28% of the vote that's been reported. The Board of Elections says at least 8,000 votes still have not been released. Now, to avoid a runoff and to win outright, one candidate needs to get a majority of the votes, more than 50%. If not, as we've mentioned, this race will go to a runoff in August, and at this point, that seems the likely outcome. Live in Macon, Zach Merchant, 13 WMAZ News. All right, Blake Sullivan, Larry Schlesinger, and Mark Whitfield were the other three candidates in the mayoral race.